What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint bringing you the Fire Elemental, the last of the four elementals that I have to do on this channel. Um, so if you have not yet checked out any of my elemental videos, the air, earth, and water elementals are already up. And here we have the Fire Elemental. All of the elemental models are made of this, uh, this clear this clear material, call it maybe clear plastic, clear resin, I don't know. But I got, I was able to achieve some really nice effects with the air and uh, water elementals. However, the fire elemental, I think what I'm gonna do is actually um, prime it, prime the clear in black. And the reason why is because I think by doing so, I would be able to achieve a little bit more detail and some better effects than I would if I was to leave the clear the way it is. So that's what I'm gonna do, and that's the choice that I'm making. Uh, obviously, you don't have to do that. But before I get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. And without further ado, here is the Fire Elemental. Let's start off with an all over base coat of heavy red. Now I'm gonna play along the texture here a little bit with a 50-50 mix of heavy red and orange fire, leaving the heavy red in the deeper part of the recesses and in the crevices of the muscles and joints. Now using pure orange fire, I'm really gonna be addressing the peaks of these flames and leaving that 50-50 mix in the lower portions of the flames. I just think of them like mountains. So if you have the mountain peak, it's gonna get more light up towards the top than it would down at the base. So just kind of leaving those shades in there and addressing the orange fire up at the peaks of a lot of these flames.
Now with some sun yellow, I'm gonna be addressing the upper third of some of the most prevalent flame spikes here. Um, so just kind of going up towards the tip and down about a third of the way, leaving that orange fire still visible. Really kind of give it that illusion that these flames are hot and that they are spiking. Now to really make these flames look sharp, I'll be adding a hint of white to some of the more emphatic peaks of flame on the miniature here, such as right here at just below his midsection and a few on the face as well. So as the fire elemental is a source of light in and of itself, I'd like to add some reflection to the base. So with some diluted heavy red and orange fire mix, I'm gonna be applying it to the stone and just very thinly going over the stone here with kind of a base coat. I still want those crevices to show up in the rock. Adding kind of a ring of sun yellow around the reflection here. Adding some sepia shade in for some contrast. And a dry brush of dark sand to kind of blend it all together. Gonna dull that dry brush down a little bit with some more of that sepia shade and we'll be on our way. All right, and there we have it. The Fire Elemental from WizKids and the Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures line. Hope you enjoyed the video. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is coming right up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one.